Since we tagged out early in North Dakota, we have a few days to spare before we head home. We decided to load up and head west to Montana and start trying to fill another mule deer tag. Our plan is to do a lot of e-scouting on the way, pick a spot on the map, and start hunting. Wrench steps up, he throws, throws in the zone, touchdown! You want to succeed so badly, but uh, for me it's just that constant reminder of a much bigger picture. Welcome to my rodeo. Alright, first morning here in eastern Montana. And after doing some e-scouting, I think we're in the right area. I think we picked a good spot. It looks very similar to western North Dakota. Good topography. So let me get geared up here. And then we are uh, going to drive up a little further, get out of the truck, get our packs on, and get up to the vantage point. So. Alright, we did a little hike. I think about three quarter mile, maybe a mile. Got the wind in our favor a little bit, but basically he scouted and kind of found a spot off the road, big ridge, that we could see for a long way. So. Got up here, one of the highest elevations around. Spend some time behind the glass. This time of day, the sun's coming out because the heat rays make it really hard to see, so it's still really grainy up there, so there's no chance of any cloud cover at all in the next few hours. Tangled in the way that you love got me tired. Tired, got me tired. Ooh, got me tired. Tired, got me tired. Ooh, got me tired. We swung around. I need a different angle and just kind of this big canyon out here. And I don't know, this tuft of grass, this flat little bench that my map says is about 1,300 yards away. And if it is a deer that's sitting there, I would get the blue ribbon for spotting deer because all I see is like a, a little bit of maybe a rack sticking above the green grass. So we're closing the gap a little bit, hopefully to about 600 yards so I can actually see if it's a deer or not. If it's not a deer, I'm sorry. But if it is, I'll take my blue ribbon. We spotted a buck nestled into a little thicket of trees with a little cedar at its back. And that is in a very difficult spot. All right, we got up here and I think we're like 500 yards away. Got some good video of them. He was sleeping under the tree and then I quickly got down because I think our wind swirled a little bit, but definitely a shooter, especially public land running kind of like this when there's no such thing as a slam dunk. We're going to circle back around here. We really got to get him marked on our map, to be honest. That way we have a mark for where he's at, so circle back around here, get a good mark, and let it begin. Feels good to find one. Sam, he 
he's not here. He must have left. Changed beds, winded us, I don't know. Second morning here in Big Sky Country in Montana. We actually, last evening when we were done, we uh, had an actual land connection not too far from where we were already staying. So we're on a big chunk of, of private property this morning and trying to get our bearings straight from where we're at. But glass, glass, glass for a while this morning. Hopefully put a big buck to bed. But we're a little different topography today, a little different part of the state, but uh, still looking for a muley. We stumbled into, it looked like a bachelor group of bucks. I don't know what there are, maybe six, seven, eight of them. Looks like there's two in there that are shooters. And uh, of course they're in a very, very, very difficult spot to get directly above them. But we're here and we're gonna try it anyway. The only reason, the only reason we're doing this is because the wind is perfectly in our face as we stop. That group. Boys, that's why you stick together. Because there's two homeboys over there. Save them down here. Not much else to do. day but good news we have found some deer already and I think there's a shooter in this pair so off to a good start I think we've got a shooter in that group
kidding me? He finally stood up, and all he gave me was his butt. I needed something broadside when he stood up. Not that. Coming down to the last minute here in Montana. We've been chasing these two around, I think, the entire day now. After a failed stock and then another opportunity went by the wayside. We're trying to get up here, you know, trying to make a move, but we're getting down to it. We kind of need like a, we need a Hail Mary and the two point conversion just to get to overtime. And then we'll hopefully win in overtime. A lot of work to do, not a lot of light. We had a stock every day, which is positive. Shoot, today we had a couple. But we give the deer the advantage here. They played the cards right. They had the win right. They're bedding in the right spots. No regrets. Maybe a couple here and there, but hey, it was fun. It's rough country. Get more respect for these animals every time I hunt them, just because you start to understand why they do what they do, and they make it tough on you. So. Cool animals, but until next year, Montana, it's been real. <laughs>